Welcome gamers to another One Piece Bounturers video. In today's video we're going to be looking at another number one. You know, you saw with the highlights and everything, yeah, it's Cracker, yes. So this time my alliance mate Zeus is bringing us this Cracker gameplay, maxed out and everything. I hope you're all having a good time summoning for him because I know everyone wants him really bad. He got his first rebanner. And yeah, he's spending all those gems, even just before the 4.5 anniversary. Yeah, he's really good. The only, you know, threat and problem is like Queen Shen. Other than that, you are cooking everybody, healing 50% on one side, healing 50% on the other side, and getting insane attack boost, ignoring damage reduction with your skill 1. A guy who still been there in 2023 when literally almost anybody can like kill him <laughs> so you see you see you see Ogra, it just feeds you and after that big mom's model being fed gets and even the shanks got caught i mean you're seeing the destructive power of tracker everyone keeps healing him everyone has status effects he's going to be a matter relevant <coughs> for quite a while actually but you know sometimes you can get you know turned into a punching bag you will see in the game but you know it's good now because he can heal you know, almost straight one and look at that big mom get that skill one I, i'm shocked that's not a one shot because when cracker has that attack buff from status effects and uses that skill one he's like a half stack green shanks with skill one well he that's pretty disgusting it's a one shot you know, basically. Uh, maybe if it was a crit, it would have one shot. And blue shanks, oh man, easy count, easy. Buy two, yeah, he's dead, he's dead. And another skill one, split up. You're getting, you're getting bullied, bro. Stop saying split up. And look at that, another big mom down the drain. Akainu down the drain again. Again, bro. Look at that, seven KOs. It's insane, man. It's insane. They, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. It's like a, that That shot is like a replay of what happened to that Shanks before. <laughs> and it's spawning back with Big Mom yet again. Like they're just dying, rinse and repeat in the same spot. This is how you know Crack is good. He act, man. And sometimes it just feels like auto mode playing, you know? It's normal. It's like the range on that first hit. You can outplay so many other units. Look at that. She's dead again, going to spawn again with Green Shanks for like the fourth or fifth time. <laughs> it's it's really disgusting. And then look at that. Yeah, spam skill from far just to die after your bonbons are finished. Well, unlucky that was not a perfect dodge. Oh, see the gangbang is happening. And. Just because the last second he hit that Shanks, but anyways, they won, even if he died. Look at that 8.6k score MVP. I mean, it's a pretty good game. It's cracker, guys. Worth summoning, worth your frags, worth, uh, worth your gems. We just hope that, you know, the EX Luffy that's coming, whatever EX is, they're not, you know, too broken and make. Well, particularly Luffy. The, I hope it doesn't make the game like irrelevant, like all the other units. So look at this, we got another match, Zoro, Cracker, Kaido, Kaido is not much of a problem, I mean Zoro only is a problem if you color change him, other than that he's getting good, see easy skill 1, that skill can push back a bit, you know, it's not like a knockback, but if you can push opponents off the flag a bit, not as much, but they're mm, real good, okay, so we're like, Oh, that's a clean dodge, and look at that, the skill. I'm feeling like a full girl is going to come here, look at this, that's spamming, that's spamming, like crazy. Look at that, <laughs> and skill one die, man. Spamming that skill two over and over again at this skill can be, can be a bit satisfying, you know, a bit. <laughs> but for me, with Craig, I just never felt, you know, that power. I know he's OP. But Compared to other figures I've played, I just never felt that. Ooh. But I, I, I'm almost next uh, no, to the And look at this Luffy, this new Luffy. You're healing him, you're giving him a tech buff. 
and you're dead, then you 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 shuffle your pearl spell teammate as well. Oh look at that! Look, you see the Zoro think he's gonna be smart? Look at that full get on the ass, <laughs> big mouth, and then look at that combo. The Charlotte family is dominating the meta, guys. It's all Cracker and big, and big Mom. And this Zoro got like with that perfect dodge and a perfect connection from all types of ranges. Hokkaido, time for oh, still two. Nice! It gave him cover to launch a skill one. That's a good play. Did you see how he did it? I mean, I would have went skill one actually, but he went skill two to cover himself. And then skill one gave himself that uh, 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 sort of invincibility so that he can use his skill uninterrupted. And look at that. What? What, what is? What are they doing? They should be capping flex. Big mom. Oh man, seven kills, getting one shot. Peros, Peros healing. I mean, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Oh, look at the punching bag. <laughs> Yeah, so this, you know, can happen. Like, you get hit by multiple skills while you're fighting one opponent. I mean, Blue Shanks is having his fun. So, look at that. Yes, Blue Shanks get bullied. Get bullied. Oh, Team Boost Biscuit skill. Of course, you're gonna get one shot. And look at this aim. Why did it aim at the big man? It should have aimed at the Kaido. You know this game. Even if you use the target, it was still gonna aim at the big man. So we're on, you know, to the last game. I hope you've, you've been enjoying the gameplays. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious. Prek is a must summon. I don't need to say much about him. But where I place him, hmm, I can't say it's the best blue attacker because there is EX Shanks, right? I mean, in inside the situations, like well, most situations against status effect units, Prek is better, definitely. So. You can take that dub, and he easily takes out Big Mom you know, compared to the other Blue Shanks. But yeah, there's that. And on this last bit, we you know on my gameplays, I like to show you know you getting those MVP losses. This is something that is, you know, is crucial. You're not always seeing like, oh, the best gameplay. This is this is not you know what you should expect <laughs> always in your games. You should know that uh, sometimes the L and unfortunate things can happen. Yeah. Even attackers don't have, you know, very good t uh, win rate. I thought Ulta, but she should have just used skill immediately. And look at the coming in her, Jamon. Mm -hmm. He can be annoying, but as long as you have skill 1, ignore damage reduction, he's gonna get one shot. And look at that, he's feeding your HP. And then, oh, he nullifies that at least. If he only had some not big nullification, some status resistance, he would be good. He would be good. Look at Odin, just to get one shot again. <laughs> Uta, just to just look at this. We just gonna get one shot again. We gave the biscuit skill back, and then look at this. Bye bye. Yes. Oof. Clean and beautiful kill over there. And then we've got Zephyr. Zephyr without his flag is not much because he can still get staggered. He can't, you know, infinity loop you with his normals. You just do this too. Then you ignore damage reduction, do a huge chunk to his HP. And then, okay. Get the, the normal reach. Oh, the invincibility skill. He had that in his back pocket and didn't use it. Skill 2, attempt to fly and die. Look at this king, stop dodge back ball. Everyone knows. Like all these players know. Jamon's about to get bullied. Jamon. Oh, wait. Oh, I hate this map, bro. For this all these maps with these trash obstacles. Oh, like it like Jamon was there just in time. So as you can see the team is not doing its not pulling its weight, not doing its job. And what can you expect? A loss. No matter how good you carry, how, how much score you got, how many kills you're getting, it's always the inevitable. Okay, Odin's holding his flex pretty well. He got the meat, bruh. That means he's not gonna die. 
Well, if that Odin died, he would have had enough time to capture the flame. Oof. I can't, I can't blame and say it's all him. But I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.